welcome back to my channel. Today I have my haul video for you, which I needed to do this. I needed to film this so I could put this stuff away because I've been using it and like kind of keeping it out because I just wanted to not forget to show you guys. So I have a Sephora order and an Ulta haul, which is kind of like a two part Ulta haul. I'm going to get started because this stuff is too good not to share. The first thing I picked up is the Laura Mercier Candle Glow Soft Luminous Foundation, which looks like this. This is the box in case you're wondering. Um, I Instagrammed a picture of this when I first saw it on Sephora. I was like, I think I need to get it because it just, for some reason, it just intrigued me. I'm not really a huge fan of Laura Mercier foundations. Um, I think I have like the silk cream, like the old version of it, but I never like bought into the hype of the new ones. So it just, it looks like this. It comes in a pump like that. I really like it. It is great for me on um, days where like I'm not doing much if I'm just running errands and I just want to like throw something on to make my skin look even and good it's not going to be like a full coverage you know heavy duty foundation so if you need something that's going to like cover all your imperfections and you know like last through the night or whatever I, I wouldn't recommend it for that but to me for like day to day like you know makeup that's going to work for me and if my skin is having a really bad skin day I'm not going to use it um unless I just don't care about whatever shows through but for the most part I do have pretty decent skin so I can get away with it if you don't I wouldn't recommend it because you're not going to be happy with the coverage, but it is very um, light and it is it blends very well. So that is that. Then the next thing I picked up is something I have wanted for a very long time. This is the Burberry um, Eye Color Wet Dry Glow Shadow in Nude 002. This is the box. That's it. It's right here. Um, it's actually what I'm wearing on my eyes today. If you can see on my lids, I am obsessed with this. I have wanted this forever. It has been... It's always sold out like on Nordstrom and on Sephora it would come in and then it would go away. It would come in and it would go away. So when I was placing my order and I saw that it was in stock, I had to get it. It looks like this. It is the most beautiful, like it's the most unique shade. It is like a bronzy taupe color. It reminds me, in a way, it reminds me of MAC Satin Taupe, but it doesn't have that purpley undertone. It is right here. It's more like a, a bronzy taupey gray color. <laughs> um, it is beautiful. And this, by the way, is still, if you watch my favorites video, that is still that MAC uh, Pro Longwear pencil. It won't come off. I have to like go into the bathroom and use like eye makeup remover to get it off. Um, I just put the eyeshadow over it so it blends better. But I mean, those pencils are, are insane, but that's, that's that. Um, so I will cover that up. But that is the eyeshadow. And I just, I haven't worn it wet yet. Um, I just wore it dry and I really I just packed it onto my lid and I didn't have any fallout. It's not like a glittery chunky type of shadow. It's beautiful. I'm, I'm curious now to see what other shades they have in that formula because I'm I'm hooked. <laughs> the next thing I got was the one of the Hourglass Ambient Strobe Lighting Powders. And I'll be honest, I was really kind of on the fence about this. This is the packaging. Um they're teeny tiny. I mean, compared to the full size, regular size powders, um, this is this, whoops, and this is that. Um, I, was I super impressed with this? Not really. I mean, I got it just to get it because I, I was curious to see what the hype was with these strobe powders. Um, that's like a pretty heavy swatch of this. I didn't even say what I got. I got Brilliant Strobe Light. Um, that's like a pretty heavy swatch. So but when you blend it out, like, why you just keep blending this? It will pretty much blend away to nothing and sink into my skin, which in a way is good. It's good for like an everyday natural highlight. If you're looking for something, bam, you know, highlight on fleek, that's not going to be it. But it is a very pretty natural, you know, shadow. It just blended all the way away. Um, I know like the big thing about this was that they released incandescent in a little thing like this instead of in that three palette thing. So I didn't get that obviously because I have it in there. But um, that is good for people that really like incandescent. So will I get more? Probably not. Um, I mean, it's good for what it is, but I'm not, it's not like drawing me in like most Hourglass products do, but it's good. Then the next thing I got, just the last thing that I purchased actually, there was this um, Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer. Now, this has been like floating around YouTube with a lot of mixed reviews. It looks like this. It's like a teeny tiny tube, but it's so cute. And um, it comes in an interesting little applicator like this where you can like squeeze it out, which I like because you get control over it. Whereas the MAC Pro Longwear, like pump it out and you get a ton and you waste product. But um, I like this. Like I said, I know there are mixed reviews. I think it's just in the technique and how you apply it. Um, for me, 
you need just a very little tiny amount because it is very creamy and a little will go a long way. And what I like to do is <clears throat> dab it under my eyes and kind of blend it in a little bit with my finger, then go in with a damp beauty blender and, you know, buff it out the rest of the way. That works for me and then I just right away set it with an under eye powder, that way it won't crease. And it, it does provide good coverage, it does last um, all day and it works well also if you um, use a corrector. Um, I used it over a corrector the other day because I was really tired um, and I just needed some brightness and it worked very well. It didn't, you know, get patchy or you can layer it. So I recommend that if you want to get it, um, get a sample of it first because it may not be for everybody. I did get a sample of it and I liked it enough to purchase it just to kind of just change it up a little bit. Um, but I do like it. And then the last thing I got from Sephora was another one of these Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir um, mascaras. They did have a, when I ordered, they still did have it for the 100 Point Park. So please check it out. See if your stores have it. This is probably one of the best mascaras I have ever used. Um, I talked about it in my favorites video, my January favorites. So go watch that. Um, and I rant all about how wonderful that mascara is. It is really good for, for lengthening and volume it blows the Omega volume away. And it's one of the best mascaras I've used in a long time. So that is that. Then the next part of my haul is from Ulta, which I got some good stuff at Ulta. <laughs> the first thing I'm gonna show you is the Urban Decay <clears throat> Gwen Stefani palette. This is the box. This is the beautiful palette. <laughs> this is what it looks like. Um, again, it is a beautiful neutral palette that I know a lot of people are saying probably, I don't need another neutral palette. And I said that to myself as well and I wasn't gonna get it, but my um, brow girl, I get my brows done at Ulta, she convinced me to get it. She was telling me just how amazing it is to create all these different neutral looks and I'm a sucker for neutral. And she was saying how the, the consistency is like nothing of the other Urban Decay shadows, like either in the singles or the naked palettes. And I do agree with that. The consistent, I'm gonna just swatch a few of these. Um, they are so like creamy and like they, they kind of blend right into my skin tone because I'm tan, but um, like they're so creamy and buttery, but they're not too soft where they're, they're gonna just like go all over the place. I really like them and that's one of the reasons why I got it because I started swatching them and I was like, oh wow, she is right. You know, this is um, well, like one of the shimmery shades. Um, I have worn this a lot and I have gotten a lot of use out of it. The only thing like for me, like the whole bottom row, like the so I'm not gonna wear like pink eyeshadow, but I mean, it's good to have. Like if you're into that and you want a pop of color, I would recommend it. Um, this is what it looks like again, and it is a good deal. So I would say get it, especially if you like neutrals. Get it, get it, get it. Um, and the next thing I got is one of the new Lorac blushes. They came out with those Color Source Buildable Blushes. This is the box, I can toss it. Um, it looks like this. It is a beautiful, it is in the shade Aura, which if you read the description, it is a dusty rose, which I'm all about that. I mean, that's like one of my favorite shades to wear. Um, <clears throat> that is a swatch of it. It is beautiful. The consistency is like nothing I've ever felt for a blush. It is very soft and like when you, it's kind of, it reminds me of like the shadow. So, you know, when you put your brush in, it kind of goes everywhere. That's what it is with these blushes, but it works in a good way for them because it's, they're, they're super pigmented. It's not just soft where, like I said, it's going to, blow all over the place you get a concentrated amount on your blush brush so you do not need a ton of it you don't you I mean I'm wearing it today as you can see and I kind of went a little bit heavy-handed on this side <laughs> rather than this side not really realizing just how intense they could be um I picked up one you know of course because I wanted to try it I didn't want to buy like 20 shades and then <clears throat> not like them but I will definitely go back for a couple more because I do like it again I like the packaging as well it's just like a very I don't know I really like these blushes. It's well-made packaging, just obsessed with the color. Perfect. It's gorgeous. There it is again. Get one of those. Like they have so many different, like they're all matte, but they're, to me, they're not like a flat matte. It's, I can't explain it. You have to like just swatch it. <laughs> you don't have to like touch it. So love it. Um, the next thing is I'm obsessed with this. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow definer. This is the box. This is what it looks like. It is a little bigger tube than the brow is, but let me just tell you, <laughs> let me just tell you, I will never go back to the brow is after using this. I, it, it's one of those like slant tips, which normally you would think, uh, I'm not gonna like it. Oh my God, look at this. It is so amazing. I get my brows done in record time with this. 
it looks like that. It's a little bit, a little bit more waxy, but definitely more durable than the brow is. You know, like the brow is, it's such a fine point tip that it will break off or especially if you're heavy handed, which I, I can be very heavy handed on myself. Um, but I get my brows done in record time with this. Look at this spoolie. It's gigantic and I love it. Um, if you were debating about this, if you're a devout Browiz user, get this. It will change your brow life. And I mean that. It will change your brow life for real. I'm obsessed with it. And also, for me, I have pretty decent brows. Um, my brow girl brought them back to life. But um, So I have brow hair, so I really just want to define them. Um, this is perfect for that. That's why it's, I guess it's called the brow definer, right? But it is so good. To me, it's so much better than the brow is. Where I know the brow is you can get really detailed and get, you know, get your hairs really defined, but I just, I love this. I will never use the brows again. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them, but I'm just kidding. I love this and I get it in medium brown. I have dark hair, but this works for me because it doesn't make my brows too harsh. So this is that and, oh, this one. I was almost gonna forget. This is the OPI polish in Let's Be Friends, which is actually what I'm wearing on my nails today. Um, what can I say? You can't go wrong with like a cool baby pink. For me, I think they're the most flattering on your hands because they make your hands look very clean and very, um, I don't know. I just, I like the way it makes my hands look, especially like if you're a tan. Um, it's just, it's beautiful. And let me know guys, if you are interested in a video, I have the SNS system on my nails, which is like the organic powder. Um, it's 10 times different than acrylic or gel, but let me know if you guys want me to do a video on them. I just had them done, so they actually look pretty nice, but, um, and I can do a whole video explaining it if you're interested. Let me know down below, but anyway, this, I really, really do like this color. I, you can't go wrong with an OPI. The OPI makes some of the best polishes, so that is that, and then the last thing is this Ulta tanning mitt. If you watched my January favorites, I went on and on about this mitt, um, so I just picked up another one. It's the best tanning mitt I've used in a long time. It's really inexpensive. Right now they're like two for two, which buy two, get two. You can't beat that deal. And they're only like five or six bucks, I think. I love it. it it's so, it blends your tanner in just beautifully. That's what I'm gonna say. Watch my other video and I'll rant about it. But that is it, that is all I picked up. I didn't really, um, it's kind of collective also. I mean, the Ulta stuff I picked up on a couple different occasions there and then the Sephora stuff was just in order. So. Let me know if you have any questions down below and I want to thank you all for watching and I'll see you in my next video.